everyone, it's Lydia and I have a project shared today. So I'm guest designer for my paper passion this month and that is Natalia's Zibit Store, Natalia3948 and she's Panchito3948 here on YouTube. There is a 10% off coupon. The code is designer and it expires August 16th. I will add all of the information down below in the description box. I will add links also. So I altered these Got Prima bottles. I had 10 empty ones and I removed these stickers, removed the glue the best I could and then I ran them through my dishwasher and I found a tray at my local thrift store. So that's what I'm using to hold my altered bottles. The papers are Primrose by DCWV. Thank you Karen Brake. And then all of the trims around the necks of the bottles are from Natalia's shop. I use this daisy bling trim that I love, love, love. And I also use some of her clay flowers and I've already showed these in a previous videos. So I won't go through each and every one of them, but they're these really cute clay flowers that have um, ribbon centers. And I also used, I think, some of her acrylic flowers. I used some of the bling that she sent me. I used these little pins by Tim Holtz. They have like words on them. And I also used some Garmin pins. And I finally got around to playing with this tool. Tool that was sent to me by Lori, just a girl from the Bay. Thanks Lori, and it's a bow easy. So I used that for my seam binding because I was trying to make like triple and quadruple uh, loops on my bows. So let me show you my project. It turned out super cute. So this was inspired by Amador. I love watching his videos. Now he used, I think it was four, uh, no, three Starbucks Frappuccino bottles and he used a small um, crate. So I went with what I had, which was the Prima empty bottles. And then I found this cute tray at the thrift store and it has like a little handle here where I can use it to carry, you know, from one room to another and I have room here for two more. So I have that bottle that I have to use up and then room for one more bottle. And I also used um, Artie Cake Charms that I received from Carmen and Letty. Thank you, ladies. So let me show you quickly my jars and then I will show you the paper that I added to the crate. I gessoed the crate and I added two co coats of uh, paint. I'll add the paint color down below because I forgot to bring it over. So let me show you my bottles. They turned out super cute. My husband's like, what are you going to do with them? I, I said, well, I'm either going to fill them with pearls or I'm going to add my um, pearl strands. I'll have like a different color in each bottle. So I just added the paper, the primrose paper. I cut the paper at, did I put the, oh, I forgot to bring it over here. Mm, darn it. I cut the paper and I put it around the base of the bottle and I like the glass showing because I can see what's in it. And... Then I have this beautiful arty cake charm on this one. Here's one of the flowers from Natalia's shop. The pretty clay flowers with the ribbon centers, my seam binding. And then this gorgeous trim with the tool that I love, love is on this bottle. And then I also papered the tops and I used my distressor around the edges. I did no inking on these. So that's the first one. Here's the second one. Again, I added my paper and I have one of Tim Holtz's little fragment dolls here. Thank you, Carmen. And then I have my seam binding and the daisy bling that I love in the center there. And then I have, this is one of the trims from her store. It has the sequence um, trim in the center. Very beautiful. And then here's another one. Again, paper on both tops and sides. I have another um, arty cake. The mesh bling, the um, daisy bling. My seam binding and then this gorgeous lace trim is also from Natalia's shop and then here's this one I love love this one I love this paper so pretty and I added the gorgeous crochet pink trim goes perfectly with this paper collection and then here's the flat back pearls from Natalia's shop and I have some seam binding one of those Tim Holtz trinkets it says vintage on it and then a little seam binding flower my sister um, sent me and I have a little button there and another arty cake. So that's that one. My next one looks like this, blue and white. Again, arty cake, 
the porcelain flowers. They look like they're clay or porcelain. I don't know what they're made out of, but they're super cute. I have a garment pin on this one and some blue seam binding. And I used this gorgeous trim from Natalia's shop. Love it. And again, I papered the top. My next one, again, paper. And I have a arty cake, and this is a Tim Holtz bird. And here's some trim from a Natalia shop. I love that one too, so beautiful. It's like a lace and satin, pleated satin. And then I covered the top. And then here's another one, an, again, another arty cake. Paper. Here's another clay flower. And I love this trim. That's the blue one that has the little um, tiny flowers. They're like little plastic flowers. I don't know what they're made out of, but they're all the way around the ribbon. And it's really pretty. And then again, I papered, papered the top. And here's another one. Now, this is a piece that Elise sent me. Thank you, Elise. Elise 46 And I have some seam binding on here. And here's the blue trim with the little flower centers there. Very dimensional. And paper. Ooh, I think I hear thunder. I better hurry up. Again, beautiful papers. Artie Cake, the clay flowers with the ribbon centers. Another one of the daisy trims. And then I have this, I love this one. Little flower trim all the way around. So that's that one. And then this is the last one. And again, love this paper, and I use the um, Bee Artie Cake, and then I have the Trinket from Tim Holtz, it says stuff on it. Here's an acrylic flower from Natalie's shop, and then again, this beautiful pink tool trim that I love. So this turned out super cute, and then here's my tray, and I just um, just so it painted, and then I added this gorgeous paper from the Prim, uh, Primrose collection that I love. And then here's the back. I also papered the back. And then I just added some pebbles for my feet. So that is my project share, ladies. Thanks for watching, everyone. Post the comments if you wish. And stop by Natalia's shop and check out her goodies. Bye.